Hello and welcome. I'm Carol DeShane, your spiritual guide for practical matters and Marconic multidimensional energy practitioner and teacher. This month, it's about taking care of yourself, self-care. It's something that I've talked about listening to your body, listening to your mind, listening to your emotions. And today it's about listening to your spirit because after all, self-care it's just about you and about caring about yourself, about helping you be the best you you can be and not just working your butt off and not doing enough to make yourself feel those emotions that are joyous and peaceful and wonderful instead of being stressed out and angry and worried and concerned all the time. Listening to your spirit is something that some people only do. They don't really listen to their body at all and other people don't do it all. So if you pray, you're asking for help. And that's not listening. Praying is great. It connects you to source, your whichever source you're talking to, and it helps you make yourself clear. But most of the time, it's begging and asking for things. I need more in my life. I need more peace. Help me, help me, help me. And we need that as human beings. But then the after part of that if you do, you may move them, put them together into a marriage where you do prayer at the beginning and then you do meditation at the end without realizing it because meditation is listening. It's about listening and hearing more. So when you're listening to spirit, you're connecting at some level and you're listening to whatever your source is, your Buddha or to Jesus or to, I mean, whoever, whatever that you're listening to. I just call it the universe and my higher self are the ones that I, I kind of the way I put it personally. When you connect, you have a knowingness. There's a knowingness that comes from spirit that goes, yeah, this feels right. And you may not realize it's from spirit. You might call it intuition. But to me, it's knowing that, hmm, yeah, this is what I want to do. This feels right to me. This person feels right to me to be in my life. This person feels really off. <laughs> Maybe it's time to let them go. But these other people, it's like the spirit will tell you, oh, yeah. The mistake we make so many times is in not recognizing spirit because we don't realize that maybe you prayed or maybe you just say it to yourself, oh, I really want to do this. And the opportunities that present themselves to you are not spirit-based in your head. So you think this isn't from spirit. But honestly, you can get your, you can have spirit in the universe talking to you, just the way I'm going to put it. Uh, so you can translate that into whatever is important to you. But you can have it talking to you through TV, through a friend, through your loved ones, through anything, through your boss at work, through something you read in an advertisement, that through a book. It just, things present themselves and you go, whoa, what? Wait. And if you're paying attention, you might find those are answers that you were seeking. So if your spirit is out of alignment, you probably don't have a connection. You're feeling like, here's the, and it's over here. You're disconnected totally. Your roadmap just got dead ends. And the spirit starts over here. And yet, spirit infuses you totally. So it doesn't really stop. It's just the listening stops. So when I say listen to your spirit, it means, Stay in the now, stay in the moment, be aware that you do have a spirit. When you feel peace through your entire body or joy through your entire body or the kind of love that isn't just a conditional kind of love and it goes through your entire body and you kind of feel like you are love, that is so different from being in love. Having a conditional I'll love you if. Sometimes the closest you can get maybe is on your wedding day or having the, the child in your arms for the first time, your baby, something that you're proud of. It's like just deep down all the way to the bone and beyond. Those kind of emotions, the peace of being out in maybe in nature, just sitting there, the joy of playing with the puppy or with your baby or whatever it may be, those feelings go so deep that they're not just emotions, they become connections to spirit. And you might not even know it. So the next time you feel that joy or that 
moment, even if it's only a moment in time, realize and recognize it's a connection to your spirit. Because when you do that, you're going to attract more of those moments to yourself. And it won't be, you won't feel connected to spirit when you're feeling depressed or angry, or you have basically feels like you've cut yourself off. So if you want more of those, really delve into and splash around in those really good feelings. Feel When you feel joy, feel it and stay there for a minute, as long as you can kind of hold on to it and just kind of bathe in it and go, oh yeah, have take a shower in joy or peace or love and just really feel like it feels good to you. Recognize it and go, okay, that's spirit. That's what it feels like. And when you do, you will attract more, like I said. And as you're listening to your spirit, you'll recognize the fact that if you're paying attention, it talks to you all the time. Your intuition, but through other people as well. Like I said, you might hear an answer to your prayer on TV. It might be an advertisement. It could be in a movie. I, I went to a movie one time. I didn't like it. It was the stupidest movie I'd seen in a long time with really well-known people in it, but I won't tell you what the movie is, but I was there with friends and I was in the movie house and I went, why did I come to this? Well, they're enjoying it. I guess I can't leave. And I think it was 90% of the way through the movie. The person said something, one of the actors said something that I went, oh, okay. That's why I'm here. One line in the whole movie. And I went, that's why I'm here because I needed to hear something. I went, Oh, uh, it was something about this is her life purpose. And I went, oh, because that's when I was working on my life purpose. And I went, I got it. You don't have to be great at your life purpose. You just have to know it's yours. You have to know it's what you want to do. And then do it. And that was what mine was for. So pay attention to your spirit. Know that spirit isn't just when you're meditating or just, it may be inside you, but the universe is everywhere. And the universe and spirit is everywhere as well. So even if you don't, because you might question it if it's just yourself. If you get that intuition and you go, nah, it's a random thought. It's not something I'm listening to amongst the millions of other things in your head. You may not hear it. You may dismiss it. But if you get it from an outside source, you can actually ask for validation. And I've done that numerous times. Say, I need validation. I'm not sure if I'm hearing that right. And then before I know it, I get validation. Somebody, like when I was going to going to move and I didn't know where I wanted to move to, I got validation during one week's time because I asked for validation within one week. People started talking about Colorado ridiculously for that week. And I did not bring up the fact I was thinking of moving or Colorado. It was one of the three states that my friend and I were thinking of moving to. And we said, okay, we got it down to three out of 50. Let's figure out what in a week we'll come back and we'll figure out where we're going to go from here. And in a week, we both looked at each other and went, okay, mm, I got validation. She goes, I got validation. So then we looked at each other and went, oh, geez, I hope it's the safe state. <laughs> and it was, it was Colorado. But it was hysterical because we were like going, oh, you can ask for validation. So the first time I said, I did it actually. And it was clear. It was concise. I was listening. And it was obvious because Colorado kept coming up and the other states were not mentioned at all. Nothing negative. They just weren't even mentioned. They weren't brought up. One person said, God, I loved when I moved to Colorado. It was so much fun. I loved being there. It was the best. And I said, why did you come back? And they said, oh, you know, I came back because of job or whatever it was. And I went, huh, Colorado. Okay. Cha-ching. One time. Well, cha-ching is usually money, but I was like, number one. Okay. Then somebody else mentioned Colorado because that's where they met their husband. And I went, hmm, number two. And the third time I went like, okay, got it. It was within like four days of the week. And I didn't say anything to my friend until we got back together. But we both marveled at the fact that we both got validations for a decision we wanted to make. So listen to your mind, your body, your emotions, and your spirit. Because spirit is clearest. The things that the other three will tell you is when you're off. When you're on, spirit will tell you. Clearly. It doesn't say you're off because everything is a lesson. But it will say, hey. This is a really good place for you to go. Ooh, there's an idea. Ooh, there's another possibility. Oh, look, somebody offered me a chance to do something. Hmm, should I do that? 
So when you're working with self-care and you're really wanting to take that time to care about yourself, you're worth caring about. You're deserving to have that priority, to make yourself a priority, whether it's a little extra money or time or whatever it is, you're worthy of it. You deserve it. You are a most wondrous being. Take the time. Realize that you are as well. Thank you for listening. Do take time for self-care when you can. And maybe even when you don't think you can. <laughs> if you like what you hear, please do subscribe to my YouTube channel and click the bell notification if you'd like to know the next time that a video is put out. I put them out on Monday, or I mean Sunday, sorry, as the Joy Corner, which are I Am Affirmations and also mantras for the week. And I have like 150 or 200 out there now, so you can go ahead and choose a different one if that week doesn't speak to you. They're on all sorts of different things. And also Wednesdays, I put out differing videos on different subjects, but always spiritually related to practical matters. And if you'd like to know more about me or hear my podcast, you can go to my website to get more information or, and that will also be below the video. It's connecttojoy.com. That's connect, the number two, joy.com. You'll find information on Marconics, multi-level or multi-dimensional energy work, as well as spiritual coaching for practical matters and energy space clearings. So if you'd like to hire me for motivational speaking or for intuitive work, that's also information you can email me about. Until next week, please be kind to yourself because transformation is not an end destination. It's just a journey. And we're all on it, whether you're on, on purpose or not. <laughs>